Another big story, a homicide investigation. One person has been killed in a deadly late night shooting. The victim was at a family barbecue. Now loved ones are struggling to make sense of what happened. Pinpoint News Tracker zeroes in on the scene. It happened on Donaldson Street near the Chad Brown housing complex. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau joins us now live from the Providence Mobile Newsroom with new details. And police were called back to Donaldson just within the hour, called back after a couple of fights broke out near the scene of the shooting. Emotions are raw here, no doubt about that, and also no doubt that the father of the victim does not want to see any more violence. Go ahead. They're out here for the of my son. My son had Marty Trisvain was a couple of months away from being 27 and enjoying a cookout with his huge family. You know, we, we're from a real strong family with generations and generations of love, you know, that was, you know, put in place by our grandmother to our aunts, down to us, and, and we're, pa you know, we passed it on to our kids, and so it's just a, you know, generations of love, you know. Interrupted around 11.30 last night, when a hooded gunman walked up, pushed Trisvane and a cousin, and then fired about five times. It's the type of society that we live in right now where people don't value life no more, they don't care, you know, they don't care about the strength and unity that's in our family. You know, I don't care about that. As police investigate the motive, I don't know Mr. Right. Trisvane says to him, all that matters is the son with the big spirit. Look at that face. It's gonna make you laugh, make you smile. Is gone. Are you angry today? I'm hurt. I'm hurt. You know, I'm hurt. You know, for my son, for everybody whose life is, is touched today, yeah, I'm hurt. No comment from police about whether or not there are any suspects in this shooting. Also, no comment about the possible motive. Live in the Mobile Newsroom in Providence, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.